Listen to the peace. Listen to each piece. The water, the island, the backdrop, the birds, the grass. The cadence of the car engine, the bubble of the bee. This is Monday meditation, and it's actually Sunday night, Easter Sunday, as everything comes back into rest in its perfect alignment. That vitality, that life, that light that comes into the world when you see that glimmer of a greater tomorrow. Because it's filled with infinite, infinite, infinite possibility. You know, it's all connected. You may see an island out there surrounded by water, but we know the underlying truth is the land connects. For each point has its own depth and each point has its own reference to that of the other. So many more great, great discoveries yet to come. So many great celebrations and victories yet to unfold. So many thoughts, ideas, expressions, ready to be in the mouths of the new ones who bring that light forward. Did you discover at any point throughout today that that light was in you? I hope you said yes. Because I see great new tomorrows. Filled with love. As we all come out of our shells and we decide and determine that we all need each other. And I see peace for everyone who putting down those ideas of weaponry and defense and picking up that hand and holding it of the other. And I see joy as everyone unites and comes up into this next level of being where they know as they look into each other's eyes, as they know as they look into divine eyes, that that is they which they see. Not reflection, but an introspection of all other things in this wonderful, dynamic, interwoven tapestry that was created called life. One we are richly blessed and highly favored to be in its presence, to be as its presence in the oneness. So when I use as a credo, sweet spirit, there is only one power and one presence in this universe, in this life, God the good, I believe. Thank you, sweet spirit, for another beautiful day.
of perfect alignment. Amen.